It's, it's been a while since we've been on screen together. But if you see his sweater, oh, no. <laughs> keep Dable a secret. You got to keep him a secret, baby. Keep him a secret. Rico, <laughs> what's going on, fam? Win, man. What's going on with you, baby? I'm good. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know who the hell this sexy chocolate big bearded man is right next to me, it's the king pin, and he's in. <laughs> he's in the building. What's going on, Pete Money? Talk Yo, to you. How do you feel about this game, man? Look, I was telling my wife this just now, man. It's it's like it's one of those things to where it's like we haven't. I became a Bills fan. I was a bandwagon fan, right? I came in, you know, during the Super Bowl years, but I wasn't really, really a fan fan like I am now, mm -hmm. right? So I know. You know, very similar to you, we haven't felt something like this, this. Ah. You know what I mean? So that's what's exciting. Like, I'm just excited knowing that we have a squad now. We do. Dangerous too. Listen, I have to give you. Listen, I, I'm not even going to say words. I'm just going to show you an item. Do you see this item here? This item is a bell. And the bell is for your constant love, your early early stamp of saying Josh Allen is the MVP. Stop playing with Josh Allen's name. Put, He's an MVP. Put some respect on my man's name, man. You've That's been, where I'm at right now. You've been saying this from offseason, and I fought you. I said, you boy, stop. Hard too. You're crazy. You hard. <laughs> How do you, do you feel vindicated? Do you feel like, I told y'all. No. To be honest with you, I feel just excited just that the fans are able to enjoy this, man. Like, we haven't had a franchise quarterback in 25 years, right? We haven't won the AFC, you know, East Championship in 25 years. So it's man, like knowing that we have that guy, man, that's what's exciting, man. It's exciting. Yo, yes. let, me ask, let me ask you this. Go ahead. Go ahead. It, this, is, this, is for, this is for everybody watching right now. Are we doing too much? This, this is the thing. Because some people are like, okay, hey. Get over it. Y'all want a division. Big deal. It's just a game. Relax. Are we doing too much as Bills fans? Or are we are we celebrating and are we happy? And is is it uh, the word I'm looking for? Is it uh are we are we allowed to be this happy? You know what? What's the famous saying when they say, Hey man, you know, act like you've done it before. Right? <laughs> right. We haven't really done it before. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so it's like we kind of don't know how to act. It's, so been a while. It's, just, it's amazing. It's amazing, man. Like, yo, we've been the laughing stock for a long time, right? You know, we've been told you guys went the four straight. You, you know, so we had to, you know, endure all that pain, right? So I'm like, look, right now, we the beast of the East right now. We might as well enjoy it, embrace it. What did you what did you just say there, Snow? <laughs> beast of the East. We're the beast of the East. Beast when did this East. happen? Did this happen it? today? It happened today. It well, hold happened on, today. Nigga. I, I'm just saying because if we're the beast of the East and we need to represent it, we need to represent a hard body. If you have not gone ahead and copped your damn shirts, your sweater, your memorabilia, if you want it to be a gator, you want it to be something that covers your face and your neck, go ahead and head to the Buffalo Fanatics BF Fan Shop page. Get yourself your sweater. By the way, I don't know if you know this, but people have been telling me that they're sold out. I heard that too. I Golly. heard that too. But I mean, it'll be it'll be restocked real real shortly. But Rico, what are you drinking, man? What I'm am I drinking? Bottom shelf stuff, man. I mean, what do you got? What do you got? I got some bottom shelf, uh, you know, some bottom shelf. Uh, I'm drinking that uh, uh, that bread, you know. I'm drinking that Verve Clico. You guys don't know about that Verve Clico, okay? That Clico, that get that shit will get you right. Yo, uh, man, cheers, man, it's not a big bottle. Cheers, man. Cheers, hey, man. Cheers, cheers to you because these are one of these uh, these moments where you have to relish. We relish. In the moment, we take it in, and some people are going to be like, yo, because I a lot of my guys are like, yo, man, it's just a freaking division. Relax. No, I won't relax because we haven't done this in 25 years. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like where you hear these stories, right, of a long-lost brother, a long-lost sister. You know what I'm saying? You haven't seen them in years, and you finally meet them. Are you just going to be like, oh, hey, hey, hearty handshake. How you doing? No, you're going to hey, hug, you're going to hey, dance, hey, you're going to cry. You're going to do all that stuff. So I'm yeah. here to tell everybody to F right off. Let me have my moment. Let us have Let us have our moment. Like I said, we have until Tuesday to enjoy this moment. And then it's back to business. 
back. No, 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 no. Oh, well, we what? have until the playoffs to enjoy this because the AFC Championship. We riding that thing all the way to the playoffs, baby. Okay, I, I'll, I'll give you that because I, I, I usually say a oh, win. We we have till Tuesday to win, but you know what? Because we have the division, it's not going nowhere. It's not going exactly. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah. here's another thing too. Now that we have the division, we know we're in. Are you are you in any way saying, all right, fellas, we need to chill out? Josh, we're gonna keep you on account. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a, I mean a series here, series there, maybe 50%. Or are you saying, yo, we're going all out? Play all games, go. What have I been saying all offseason? That this man is about to be <laughs> JA17 and DP. No doubt. Right? So now, in order to get that, he needs to play out. I think if he plays out, Aaron Rodgers is balling right now. I heard, I forget who said it earlier. Aaron Rodgers looking like he might be the front runner. But again, Josh Definitely Allen, front you never know, man. He, so he's, I said he's, go ahead and run it out. You know what? I, I think I'm going to be with you because you're not promised tomorrow. You're not promised, you know what I'm saying, two games from now. So play hard every damn game you got. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? Something could happen where Al where Rodgers has two horrible games. I don't even know how he's playing right now. He might be playing, know. you know what I mean, pedestrian-like, right? But he has to really, really kill the game. And if he doesn't kill the game, guess who's sneaking up behind him? He's not talking about it, but you know he wants it. I know Josh wants that MVP because I oh. definitely I definitely know Aaron Rodgers wants it because he mentioned the other day. He's like, let the old guy have it, man. You know what I mean? My numbers are this and my numbers are that. That's what he meant. That's what he cares for. He's had two. He's going for three. He wants three. Josh oh. Allen may have something to say about that. Rico, what's absolutely awesome? And then uh, can go ahead and read that real quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yo, he says, yo, Rico, Kingpin, massive fans, gold bills from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Jay Robertson, salute to you, my G, man. Let's awesome. go, man. So awesome, yeah, what was man. on your mind, man? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. I was going to say this, man. We've had our, our back and forth all offseason, and amazing, too, amazing. I remember a specific video where we were going back and forth, and I'm like, yo, Rico, I can see Josh Allen going for 4,000 passing yards and 40 oh. touchdowns, right? <laughs> you remember that? Oh, so, I do. No, nah, but – in all seriousness, no. Just the fact that we have a 4,000-yard passer just by itself, we haven't had that since Bledsoe. <laughs> right? Bro. So it's just, man, knowing that we finally have the guy, I'm just, man, I'm elated, man. I'm elated. Listen, and you know what, though? I, I, I've been saying this the last couple couple weeks now because I've been saying, yo, Pear has been saying that this guy's going to be this, he's going to be that, and I've been fighting it. And and I, I, I always said that, dude. If you want to be MVP, I know you remember this. I was like, you want to be MVP, you got to give, you know, over 4,000 yards. You got to give, you know what I mean, 40 touchdown passes and this, that, and the third, because those are what the MVPs have been giving. Dude, he's, he's, I'm not saying he's there, but golly, look how effortless it looked today. And that defense was the same defense that gave the Chiefs fits, gave them problems. Right. I, yeah. I, and I was saying this earlier, I don't know if you caught this, but I was like, people don't realize how good and special this team can be. Yo, McDermott has these guys well Yo, but up. it's just knowing that the fact, and I told you this a couple of days ago, is the defense back, right? Like mm. we have to really ask ourselves this because we were winning games with our offense carrying us. We were hoping that the defense was going to come back. And I actually came to the realization, Rico, like, like, like a few weeks ago, like yep. four weeks ago, I told myself, you know what, man? Self. <laughs> the defense may just not come back. So you know what? Is our offense good enough? But, man, the last three or four weeks, Rico, the defense may be back. So if the defense is back, we're the best team in the league, man. Seriously. Best That's team in the league? Part. Are we we're going the there? The we we <laughs> still Listen, defending champs, the Chiefs, True. they beat us. But again, if the defense is back, they're not doing what they did last game. That's what I'm saying. Because I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at our schedule. I'm looking at our schedule to see the last our last opponents. Check this out: Denver, 19 points; Pittsburgh, 15 points; San Francisco with a BS touchdown at the end for 24 points. Right? Chargers, 17 points. Bro, since the break, since the bye week, 
we have kept every team under 20 points except for that damn BS touchdown from San Francisco. This defense is doing what they're supposed to do. But before you go ahead and read that, Rico. Yeah. Like last year, we had a lot of quarterbacks that were having their worst games when we were playing them. And the last four weeks, the last four quarterbacks had their worst games, you know, playing against us. So it's like, hey, you know, who knows? Hey, back, bitch. Hey, that- <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Alta Venezuela. Uh, he goes, been rocking with you and Pierre for a long time. I still remember having debates with Rico about Tyrod on Facebook page. Yo, keep up the great work. Alta Venezuela, yo, been, you've been rocking with us for a minute now. So yeah. uh, salute, to, salute to you, man. Uh, my guy, Matt McGurmy says, uh, this is the last year we get hyped over winning the AFC East. From here on out, that's the standard. Who's next? My man Matt Montgomery was like, "Yo, remember Goldberg? Goldberg had yeah, that run." No. Yo, them. man, huge shout out to Matt Montgomery, man. What? I mean, yo, he brings so much fire every time he's on. Shout out to him. And shout out. And speaking of shout out, shout out to my guy Jeff King. He says, "Hey guys, can't stay on family issues, but a Merry Christmas to you both and your families." Pierre want to purchase that backdrop, buddy. He wants that backdrop, Pierre. Stop no, making no. this man wait. We got you. you. Don't have to purchase anything, Jeff King. We got you. And another Send thing, me Jeff the address. King. Yeah, send, email me address. Address. send the email up and we'll get that to you. And Jeff King, whatever issues you're going on at home, my man, I really hope that things are okay. Uh, take care of business. Y'all know what it is. Uh, if you guys, if uh, y'all, Jeff's been a big supporter. Um, so if everything, send positive vibes, man, positive vibes to my guy, Jeff King. Uh, P Money, before we get out of here, man, because we've, rock- we've been rocking for two hours. I did not intend to go this long, but that is the nature of the business. Um, 13 and three. We doing it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're playing the Patriots, which, you know, who knows who's their quarterback. But the Dolphins, man, the Dolphins look nice. But it could be one of those games where, hey, man, we're out of the playoffs now. It's It's been official. And, you know, you know why play? But, man, look, Josh Allen has his best games against the Dolphins. So I won't yeah. say that I'm not worried about them because they're playing great football right now. But I think it's it's looking pretty for 13-3. and three. DK says, from Rex to McDermott, changes have been huge. Trust the process. I love the front office. We have a relevant team. Stay warm, Rico. Hey, I'm trying to stay more with this Clico. Uh, We're doing it right now. Um, cheers, man. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Let cheers. me. I got. I, cheers to you, my man. I got to ask you some more shit because I got some shit that I need to ask the kingpin. For those that don't realize, let me. I need to put some game on you guys. You guys always ask, yo, where is the kingpin? Where he's at? The kingpin's always working in the background. You know what I'm saying? Back end things. You know what I mean? He's the analytics guy. He's like, yo, how we do this? How we do that? And he puts it out there. Yo, big shout out to my guy P Money because a lot of the things that this guy has to endure, endure, excuse me, is um, is sometimes, man, head scratching. We're like, yo, I got to deal with this. But he does it. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to my guy King Pin. It's Pitt. all love, though, man. It's all love. You know, we've had, we've had many guys contribute here that helped us get to where we're at. So, you know, huge shout out to the team, even the guys who are no longer with us. You know, I'll pour one out for them real quick because no. you know, we still we still gonna go ahead and uh, <laughs> you know what you know out for homies, but, but um, you know who deserves a big real big shout out. I don't know if yeah. you're gonna read my mind. If you're gonna read my mind, who deserves a big shout out? It's not a specific person. Oh, who do you think deserves well, a big shout out? Well, no, I mean, look, the only person on my mind right now is the guy. Big Bobby B, man. Big Bobby B. So that's who I'm gonna go ahead and give the shout out to. I'm not, you know, you know, quite sure who you're talking about, <laughs> but the Instagram operator, Buffalo Fanatics IG, is crazy. Crazy. You guys don't know. I'm following that. You know, go ahead. You, and, uh, Bo- but yeah, Bobby, man, big shout out to Bobby, man. He's going Bobby through puts, right now, but yeah, man, Bobby, he's the man. That, that's our guy, man. He puts in the hours, the hours, the constant scouring of the it, bro. This guy is he's a robot, he's a cyborg. You know what I'm saying? So that's that goes without saying. But before we get out of here, the 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 one the one um entity I suppose we could say to um to thank is the viewers, the members, the Bing Squad, the supporters. You feel me? Because we are here doing this without you know what I'm saying, the love and support that y'all give, man. Um, and that goes from what we put into this and then what we get back from you guys, which is the encouragement to keep going. Yo, we love this, man. We love this. Do this, do this. And we try to, to make this thing better. So shout out to each and every one of y'all. Bill's guy, <laughs> every, shout out to each and every one of y'all. I mean, because you guys make this thing work, man. Rico never accepted the request I sent him on IG. Listen, man, I got like 560 requests on IG. I don't, I don't do any football stuff on there, man. So I keep it more family stuff. But 
yeah. if I do see it, I'll try yeah. to scroll through and try to find it. But I got I don't have time to go through 500. Yo, man, look, man, but before we go ahead and sign off, man, I got to yeah. get some shout outs, man. Let me get some shout outs because, you know, I'm a long time listener, man. First time caller, man. And you, I got to <laughs> I got to get my rocks off real quick, man. You know what yeah, I mean? Man. But look, man, look, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Bobby, of course. Uh, but look, you know, Steve Mathis and Dave Tilton on the Bills guys on Mondays and Wednesdays have been grinding. I'm Facts. talking about grinding. Um, so huge shout out to them and huge shout out to Joe Miller, who's been grinding on the hump day hotline oh, and yeah. the reacting podcast. I mean, you know, the voice is just so pure, so crisp, so clean. I can't quite, I can't quite get like Joe I'm Miller, but I too. try. <laughs> I think if I talk a little lower, you know, I might yeah, a little, a little yeah. bit, <laughs> but, and then, uh, and huge shout out to the, um, it's the bootleg. It's yeah, the, they uh, changed the name. It's kind of hard, right? <laughs> yeah, it's the bootleg crew. Je- Jeremy and Max. Man. You know, you know, formerly known as Bill's Overdue, you know, podcast. I mean, huge shout out to them, you know, Max and Jeremy. But Rico. Yes, sir. You the man, dog. Huge shout out to you, man. Yo, the fact that that you were able to do your thing in a season where the Bills won the AFC Championship. The AFC East. I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself because I. Was, we're going to get you there, but you know, speak it. You only say it with your chest. It, say it exactly with your chest. right. But man, the fact that you were able to do your thing. In 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 a great season, man, you were able to enjoy it more times than not be. Yo, because I was worried about you, man. Last year, you know, you had some. You had some weeks where I was worried about your health, man. You know, we lost some games. I know the Browns game last year was a little bit hard for you. You know. Yeah. Uh, uh, but look, man, you know, the fact that you're able to do what you do, man, look, you're going, you know, two hours strong. Huge shout out to you, dog. Dog, the fans love you, everyone loves you. I'm happy as hell that this man, Rico, is the best in the business, man. It just is what it is. It's it's not even here to, 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 you know, gloat or yo, it's just is what it is, man. The numbers show what the numbers show. Rico is the king of this bitch, man. Dang, so you man. shout out to you, bro. Listen, salute to you for that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know it was gonna be one of these one of these shows, but you know what? We here and we doing it. And shout out to my guy Jason Zeldorfs. Jason Zeldorfs is there <laughs> with a sticker. But for real though, real talk, it's been great. We need more dubs. You know what I'm saying? And we got more time to do it, man. We got two more games to go 13 and 3, and then we're gonna take it into the fucking playoffs and we're gonna beat down every team that we need to touch. Titans, we want your ass. Because we know we weren't supposed to lose that game. We can take your ass. Browns, You, we, we need to repay you that little weak-ass favor you guys gave us last time. We need to repay you. So whoever wants to bring it, bring it. Bring Yo, it. It's awesome. Yo, it's awesome you say that, but you missed the Chiefs. Because I want the Chiefs, right? You want the it Chiefs? As if everything is lining up for the Bills, Chiefs, AFC Championship. Ooh, right? We have, you have Mike Greenberg saying that the Bills are the only team that can beat the Chiefs. You have, you know, Darren Orlovsky say that, the Bills are the only team that can beat the Chiefs. No, listen, we're at a point right now. I know that we, you have to beat the champs in order to be the champs. I get all that. But we're at a point right now where we're looking at a squad that is clearly, you know, better than a large majority yeah. of the teams in the league right now. 100%. You know? And it's looking like as far as how we're playing right now, based off of how the Chiefs are playing, we're playing better football. So we shall see what happens if we end up going that far. No doubt. And we all then we are gonna end it like that. So I you know I love your 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 exit. That's my shit. So you need to you need to come with your exit because that you know how we do it. So I'm gonna let my man sign off. I'm gonna sign off right after that, and we're gonna call it a night. It's the kingpin, and I'm out. (laughs) And until next time, it's your boy. And I'm gone. Ladies and gentlemen, it's boys and girls, time. children it's of all represent. ages, it's time to get it's time to the Buffalo it's Fanatics time to get proudly brings to you. To oh, I don't want to do my wrestling bag, but y'all don't want to do this.